I'm Will. I'm here with Max, who is the head chef at the Culinary Lab for Modernist Cuisine. I, we just watched an amazing presentation. Thank saw you. some really, really cool techniques in culinary science and kind of like mad science with food. Can you give us the quick rundown? The, the, the quick rundown. And then well, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Absolutely. So. so, in its essence, it's really this, this, this aspect of combining science and art uh, and how this interdisciplinary approach uh, um, enhances both. Okay. So you take something like roast chicken and you understand temperature and time and how to treat the skin and you can make the best roast chicken you've ever had. So is this all about, you know, highbrow, white tablecloth, French laundry, or is it about normal food that you need at home? Yeah, no, no, no. Really, it's about the spectrum. So we investigate mac and cheese and carrot soup and, and, and a lot of, and using your microwave in a better way a lot of very approachable techniques. So. Even sous vide itself, we give very practical improvised processes to this at home that cost you nothing. So basically like about 85% of the book can be done at home. Oh, so, okay, so sous vide is when you take a piece of meat or vegetable or whatever, right. put it in a vacuum bag. And, and even the vacuum bag doesn't matter. When okay. you say sous vide, it's like, basically it's almost a misnomer, it's low temperature, precise temperature. Okay. If you understand what temperature means to your food, and you use a, a, eight, a $7 digital thermometer, uh -huh. then you can be almost as accurate as a professional chef so, every day. So instead of taking a, a steak and putting on a 500 degree grill right. and kind of eyeballing it and hoping I get to the right temperature, exactly. you put it in water that's exactly the temperature you want it to be. Exactly, and you just finish it on that very hot grill for a couple uh, of seconds. That's so it's it. a hack. It's, it, it's, it's a bridge, it's a, it's a double double process. So what do I need to do to sous vide at home? Do I need to, I know that you can buy like a $500 machine. No, yeah, and that's very expensive and it's unnecessary. Okay. Uh, for lower temperature, you can do things like using your sink, uh, the, the tap water. You know, for fish, uh, the, the range of temperature you want is between 40 and 50 Celsius. Okay. Your tap water will give you that. So if you fill enough of a volume of water, like a, like a pot of water, you can poach your salmon at 43 Celsius in a, in a pot of Out water of sink. from your sink with a $7 thermometer and make the most unctuous, beautiful poached salmon and cooked salmon you've ever made. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm if if you want to make steak that way, well, uh, a, 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 um, maybe a, a cooler is better. And you would maybe uh, heat the water on your stove top, make sure it's at about 55 to 58 Celsius, okay. pour that in your cooler. The cooler can hold the temperature for five hours. Okay. One steak will only need about an hour to reach that temperature. So you're fine. Tell, tell me about something that's amazing. Tell, well, me, about the, tell well, me about the mushroom and egg omelet, because that looked incredible. The, well, they're, they're, yeah, there are two things that I'd love to share with you that are, that are m uh, more high tech, but still possible at home. Okay. If you take the, the time or, or invest stuff. Mushroom omelet. Uh, the fascinating thing about that is that eggs, again, have a perfect temperature. For our omelet, it was 78 Celsius. And you have a crazy big grid of, of so egg a, temperatures, right? We have a crazy big grid of egg temperatures. But we, we, we enrich our eggs, uh, so we add extra egg yolk, a little bit of cream, a little bit of butter. And then we took the, the, the fact that you, can, you have access to freeze-dried egg white and egg yolk in a health food store. Okay. And eggs are mostly composed of water. So what if you said, let's take a flavorful liquid and replace the water that's inherently there with that flavorful liquid and then use the egg yolk and egg white powder in a natural uh, 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 ratio mm -hmm. to recreate egg. -a. So we took mushroom puree. Hold on, they used to do this in the army. They used to reconstitute eggs from powder they in did. the 50s. They did. Now we're doing it for, for the sake of, of taste and texture. Now, we're, the inten and, and intention is everything. Okay. That's the no, difference. Without a doubt. That's the difference. I, I mean, and, and they also, you know, use a lot of these hydrocolas that you hear about uh, for very in, ill intention. We use it for enhancing and, and refining. Making everything taste better and or maybe and, and, be more or, fun. Or, 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 or exactly, but making a better texture, having more fun with it. So the different roles of food. So with the eggs, we reconstitute uh, uh, these egg yolks and egg whites in mushroom puree. Okay. Make these stripes with a pastry comb. Pour a regular, uh, uh, um, oh, regular, our regular omelet base, so a little bit richer okay. uh, over that. Uh, steam that and you get this incredible you know, uh, layered and striped steam omelet. And inside, we, we uh, spread our uh, low temperature cooked scrambled eggs. In. So you get- <laughs> So it's eggs inside eggs. So you get both textures. And if you want the real mushroom experience, you make a mushroom marmalade with either shiitake mushrooms or porcini, which is only porcini or shiitake cooked with shallots, minsta, all minsta, with a little bit of uh, soy, a little bit of honey cooked down, and it's beautiful. That's amazing. Some thyme, a little bit of tarragon, and it's, 
<laughs> it's it's brunch of the gods. But but I mean, you're making traditional food with non-traditional techniques. Exactly. It's it's it, the reference is there, the recognition is there, but we're using techniques that refine it to a point where maybe it's not recognizable at at the beginning. But when you taste it, it's so recognizable. But in it's in it's we hope in in our. You know, in our opinion, it's best form. So you you told me a while ago that my oven sucked. Yes, sir. Why does my oven suck? We know too much to be using ovens the way they're being built right now. It's a, a heating element sir, with a very you know like basic. It's uh, a box. It's a it, it's a box sir, that has uh, hot and cold zones. Okay, you add convection, so you're you're circulating the air, so that's great. But the the accuracy of your thermometer is up and down. Uh, so you, need to, you actually need to calibrate it when you use it, when you're using a regular home oven. So how do I calibrate Well, you take a, a, a regular home thermometer, you place it in the, in the center of your oven, okay. where you're going to be cooking your food, because there are hot and cold spots that don't depend on that, unless you have a really good convection. And you figure out, when, you, when I turn my knob to 350, or okay. if, I, if I, you know, digitally uh -huh. press 50, what is my uh, probe reading? And then you figure out from that point of view, what are you cooking at? Okay. That's, you know, that's it's, it. it's pretty basic. Yeah. And then uh, you talked a little while ago about how wet stuff that's wet, like most food. Yeah, so you have evaporation. And evaporation actually, ironically, you think it, like, it would be a cooling mechanism. But when you place the wet bulb, you can speed up the cooking of a food be and the browning as because well. Because the water it transmits heat more effectively than Ex air. Exactly. And, okay. Exactly. It's all about heat transfer. So and that's why, And that's why frying is so much more effective than baking. So, oh, okay, right, because you get more surface area touching the food, it, right? It's heat transfer. It's, it's all, really it's simple. It's all about heat transfer. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. It's, yeah, it just says on and on. All right, then just go for it. Let's, right. let's see what happens. So this is our, our, this is our wine smoothie. And yes, it's getting a little bit all over the place. This is great. But yeah, the idea is, so yeah, you go for about 30 seconds to